You said you were going to embark on a light rail project. When are you commencing that? Well, we are discussing uh, with uh, a Chinese company, and uh, it's, uh, the discussions are going on well. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be done. Um, it's not something that you will just start and finish today. So the designs are being done. Uh, we'll move from there to um, commercial issues, and then at the end of the day, we'll do it. The governor of Abia State, Governor Alex Uti, revealed plans for a transformative light ray project in Abia State in partnership with a Chinese company, making a significant step towards modernizing transportation and simulating economic growth in Abia State. In a move that marks a significant stride towards modernizing transportation with Abia State, Governor Alex Uti has revealed ongoing discussion with a Chinese company aimed at launching a comprehensive light rail consortium project across the state. This ambitious initiative announced during an interview on the People's Politics on China's television seeks to fulfill one of Oti's major campaign commitments made prior to his election as governor of Abia State. The Envision Light Rail project stands as a testament to Governor Oti's dedication to enhancing the state infrastructure and boosting its economic prospects. By potentially connecting various key locations across Abia State, the light rail system promises to facilitate smooth transit for residents, reduce traffic congestion, and significantly cut down travel time. This initiative not only reflects Oti's resolve to honor his campaign promises, but also underscores a broader commitment to improving the life of the state citizens through infrastructural development. The collaboration with the Chinese firm for the light rail project signifies a strategic move towards leveraging international partnership in achieving local development objectives. This approach is indicative of the OT administration's foresight in identifying and engaging with capable international partners to bring about transformative projects within the state. By choosing to work with a Chinese company known for its expertise in rail construction, the Abia state government positioned itself to harness global technological advancement and expertise, ensuring the project's success and sustainability. In discussion with the Chinese company's project, the anticipation among the residents of Abia State continues to build. The successful implementation of this light rail project is expected to mark a significant milestone in the state's developmental journey, potentially setting precedent for future infrastructure projects. Beyond the immediate benefit of improved transportation, the project is poised to stimulate economic growth attract investment, and enhance the overall quality of life for the people of Abia State. In revealing this plan, Governor Alex Oti has taken a crucial step towards reshaping the landscape of Ab Abia State, signaling a future where development and progress are tangible realities. As the state embarks on this ambitious journey, the Lyra project emerges not only as a fulfillment of a campaign promise, but a beacon of hope for a more connected and prosperous Abia State. This is a welcome development. Another welcome development is the fact that Professor Pat Utomi reveals that he is behind the initiative that will build this project that will connect the Southeast and the South South. All these are coming after the Nigerian Railway Service announced that train service from Port Harcourt to Aba will start end of March this year. Aba railway line is part of the eastern railway line that goes from Potakot all the way to Medugiri in the northeast. It was recently rehabilitated by the federal government. That's why they are now putting this line in service. Planning and designing the Aba railway is actually very simple. Aba is one of the best planned cities in Nigeria, maybe only beaten by Abuja. Also, Aba is normally referred as a youth town. Wherever you are coming from, you have to drive in a U-turn to exit the town. So it will be very simple for them to design the railway system. If anyone is coming from Port Harcourt, that should be about the first train system in Aba metropolis. The light rail system is supposed to connect from there into the city. Many people are already saying that the population in Aba will not support a light rail system. 
that it will be a white elephant project. The hardship Nigerians are going through right now, no one should be calculating all this, especially when the state is paying for all this. Because the removal of petrol subsidy has made it imperative that every state city with at least a population of up to 1 million must have a mass transit system in order to save workers from hardship. People spend about 80% of their salaries on transportation alone, especially people that their wages are around the minimum wage. So it's very, very important that all states work towards building a mass transit system or maybe high capacity buses that can run on CNG, which definitely should be able to reduce the cost of transportation. Also, this kind of investment is not something the government should be expecting a return immediately. They should see it as a means of helping the economy because mobility of people in an economy is very, very crucial. If people cannot move from one place to another freely, it will affect the economy. Therefore, the state benefits the more people are on the move. Another issue that may have been raised is that there are other areas that the other state government should invest more money on and upgrade their infrastructure first before light rail system. First of all, they are not going to build it now, that's for sure. And secondly, the governor of Abia State seems to be operating the same way Peter Obi did when he was the governor of Anambra State. He has this area integrated development strategy that he used to develop all sectors of Anambra economy at the same time. Every sector, health, education, security, human capital development, everything received their own budget, no matter how small. So Alex Oti seems to be doing the same thing. He has been investing in the health sector, in road construction, in many areas. So it seems they will be able to pull it off. Another thing they must put in the design is to make sure that some of the cars are for cargo alone. Aba is a commercial city. They also have industrial areas where they manufacture many products. So having a light rail system that crosses the metropolis that will be able to support cargo will also be very, very good for the economy. Imagine being able to move finished goods from a factory somewhere in Aba to the new seaport that the governor made a groundbreaking ceremony sometimes in September last year. Of course, that may be too heavy for a light rail system, but they can still integrate a normal railway into the system. After all, they now have electricity to power the trains, so they can build a hub somewhere around the center that will be able to go straight to the new seaport. That one will be a heavy duty train that will be powered by electricity. This one should be moving containers and heavy goods alone. If they can achieve all this, voila, Aba will boom. Not to talk of all the companies that we have signified interest that they are going to move their factory into Aba because of this the will be massive for for Aba and it will also see people migrating from other parts of the country into Aba in order to help develop Aba. Congratulations to Aba, congratulations to Abia State, congratulations to Governor Alex Oti. Enjoy the regime that you voted for.